Hi guys, my name is Moen Vegas and today we're going to be testing for conductivity. We're going to be checking some materials and we're going to see whether electricity passes through them. So some of the items I have is a spoon, a nickel, an ice cream stick, a rubber band, an aluminium foil, a magnet, a paper clip and a penny, a copper coin. So we're going to test whether these items conduct electricity or no. If they do conduct electricity, that means the bulb, which is right here, is going to light up. If this bulb does not light up, that means there is no conductivity of electricity. So we also have a worksheet where we're going to predict before we even do this activity. For example, it says the object name. So I'm going to write the object name as the spoon. And my prediction is the bulb will not light up because it will not conduct electricity. But let me see. Let me try. So let's try the spoon. I have my spoon here. I'm going to clamp it in. And I'm going to touch the other end to the spoon. Do you see the bulb light up? It does not light up. That means electricity does not pass through a spoon, a plastic spoon. Let's try another item. Let's try a coin. What happens here? It ha what happens is electricity does pass through a, through a coin because it's a metal and there's a reason the bulb glows. Let's try another one. Let's try a rubber band. Do you think electricity is going to pass through a rubber band? No? Maybe. There you go. It does not pass through a rubber band. One more item, guys. Let's try a foil, which we use every day. Pack your lunch. And what do we see? We see that the bulb lights up. That means it passes electricity through, through itself. So aluminum, when we connect it, there is electricity that passes through it. So in this way, we can test couple of uh, objects and see whether electricity passes through them and not and the reason being uh, that metal when it's a metal it passes electricity through it if it is a non-metal that means electricity does not pass through it thank you